Welcome to Homework Help, the student edition. I'm your host, Constanza. Today we will be reviewing how to estimate when dividing a decimal by a whole number and how to find the actual answer. We're going to take a look at two problems. Let's start with 31.2 divided by 8. When we estimate division, we want to take a look at the first two digits and find the closest multiple. So, let's look at the digits 3 and 1. What multiple of 8 is this number closest to? That is the number that we want to estimate to. So, here we want to estimate to 31 to 32 since 32 is the closest multiple of 8. So, we rewrite the problem as 32 divided by 8. And, and then our answer is 4. Now we want to find the actual answer. It goes into 31 three times. Then we subtract. Then we have to bring it down to two, and and we see that eight goes into seventy-two nine times. Then we finish everything by multiplying eight times nine, and we get seventy-two. Then we have to add our decimal. It stays there because we have to line up the decimal point together. That leaves us with our answer as 3.9. They are reasonable because 3.9 is only one digit away from our estimate, which is 4. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a second problem. Let's look at 5.28 divided by 6. So if we have 5.28 divided by 6, we want to estimate this number. Now remember, just like Kansanza told you, we have to take a look first at the first two digits. So we're going to take a look at the digits 5 and 2. So let's take a look at 52. What number is 52 closest to that is a multiple of 6? Now remember, multiples are, of 6 are all of our multiplication facts of 6. So we can see that 52 is halfway in between 48 and 54. Since we have an 8 in the place value before, I'm going to choose to estimate this one to 54. Now remember that basically here we have 50, we've estimated 52 to 54, but it is a decimal. So we want to keep our decimal there. So 54, or 5.4 divided by 6, equals 9 but we want to put our decimal place in our answer because 54 divided by 6 is 9, but we're actually doing 5.4. So we have one decimal place in our, up to our tenths, so we want to keep it in the ten, our answer in the tenths as well. We need to pay attention to our place value. So the estimate for this answer would be 0.9 or 9 tenths. Okay, so now let's take a look at solving and getting the exact answer for this. So we have 5.28 divided by 6. 6 goes into 52 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48. When we subtract, we get 48 again. So we bring down our 8. 6 goes into 48 8 times. But don't forget your decimal place. You have to put your decimal there. Your decimal must stay aligned. So our actual answer is 0.88. Now 
And we can see that the answers are, the answer is, should be good. Um, it's reasonable because our answer is 0.88 and we estimated it to 0.9. So those are close and show that it is reasonable.